Hello, we're back again, and now uh, I have a little problem here with a three-phase 10-ton heat pump. Go through the components here and take a look at what's going on. Uh, here's our pressure switch, accumulator, suction piping, and um, I noticed some, some condensate down there on the ground, so we're going to figure out what's going on here. They're not getting any cooling, so we're going to see what's going on. That's it for now. Okay, what we have now is we can see that the accumulator is starting to frost back up. Um, but see how the, the sweating stops right there at the center or the suction port on that reversing valve. Sorry about this, I'm making a little dizzy. Um, but I wanted to get in there. See how it's, that's right there, that center part is the, the suction side always, and regardless if it's heat and cool, but um, it's sweating back up towards the um, accumulator and freezing up. I'm trying to listen here. Um, I'm doing a voiceover on this, but I was trying to listen to see if I could hear any bleeding through the, through the um, reversing valve. Now I'm touching it to see if, uh, if I got any temperature holding onto the suction line getting nothing. I'm not feeling any temperature change. Again, I'm sorry about the rough photography. I'm trying to work with one hand and, and uh, record with the other. But that's going to be wonderful to solder that new one in there. See, we're, so we're starting to lose a little bit of frost, but I'm still getting no no cooling um, through the line set. So I'm going to transition over here. I'm holding on here. Sometimes you can use the front of your hand, I'm hoping, and I'm going to flip over and use the, the back of my hand. The back of your hand is a little more sensitive to see if we have any cooling. Still have ice on the accumulator or frost on the accumulator. Um, going to give you a whole picture here. Look at that pressure capillary tube bouncing. This compressor is trashed. It's uh, not running very smoothly. Nothing. I even tap on the reversing valve to get it unstuck, but I'm getting some bleed by. Nothing. Um, so see, we're losing even more frost on it. Still no, um, still no uh, cooling. Kind of hoping here that I'm getting some cooling, but not, nothing's changing. So uh, what I had to do is replace this reversing valve. You see how tight it is in there. It was a nightmare. 